He's caught over 810 pound plus largemouth bass, holder of 13 worldwide patents, and inventor of the Weedless Trolling Motor Prop. Doug Hannon is the Bass Professor. You know, when it comes to fishing, I've always been a man for all seasons, but when the season of the year has to be picked and chosen, if you were going to go and look for the biggest fish of your life, what time of year would you expect to find it? And everyone says it's the spawning season during the spring because they feel like the fish are laden with eggs and, and they increase their weight. And there's many myths about fish carrying more than a quarter of their weight in row and all that stuff, and it's not true. Uh, I've seen dissections of many, many large fish, and I've never seen a fish that had more than maybe a half a pound of row in it. When you're talking about a 10-pound fish, that's not 25%, you know. That's like 5%. And uh, so if you go and look to the fish that are really big, like, for instance, in Florida, a bass of 26 inches will be approximately 10 pounds. In California, where the fish get really fat, that same 26-inch bass will weigh 20 pounds. So you can see that the difference between fat and row content can be tremendous. In other words, that 10-pound bass in California that weighs 20 is carrying 10 pounds of fat and is only capable of carrying maybe a half a pound of row. Now, during the spring, during the spawn, the smaller fish tend to have almost as much row as a big fish. Once a fish gets to three or four pounds, the, the egg carrying capacity peaks. So that proportion of the weight of a small fish, which aren't the ones we're concerned with here, is uh, greater in terms of uh, row content. So what time of year do the fish have the best chance of being fat? And that's an easy one to answer. It's in the peak feeding period. And we know what that period is because we know where the metabolism of a bass peaks and where its preferred temperature is, we can put them in thermally gradiated tanks, like a tank with a heater at one end and a cooler at another, and have the water 100 degrees at one end and 40 at the other, and gradually graduate. And those bass will seek 82 and a half degrees. That's not that 68 to 72 we've all been told, you see. And we'll, we'll talk about that on another show, but that preferred temperature is what we're talking about today. And you're going to find that in the summer. And oh, guess what? Everything else is peak in the summer, too, because the water's warm, the solar engine's going, the food for the bait, the weed growth, all of that makes feeding and food sources better in the summer and as we get progressively into the summer all that bait that hatched in the spring is growing and you got more large forage available for the big fish so it stands to reason that a bass is at its peak weight in the mid to late summer in that peak feeding period when you go and look for them you just have to refine your tactics because those metabolisms are cranking then and a bass, it costs the bass more of his energy in order to hunt and move. So they tend to find places where they don't have to move far and make large forays to feed. When they can afford that with a slow metabolism in cooler water, they can't at 80, 85 degree temperatures. So bass tend to stay secluded. They stay in the heaviest clumps of cover on the biggest, weediest flats that hold the most food. So look for the big areas that hold bait fish. Look for the heavy cover in them and that's where you'll find your big summer bass and hopefully the biggest bass of your lifetime. If you've enjoyed today's edition as much as I have being here for you, then don't forget, click on that button and send this to a friend.